Prescribed fire in the wildland urban interface is a critical element in protecting communities. We're in McLeod, California, where there's a project adjacent to the community that's about 1,500 acres and 500 acres of it has been burned thus far in a prescribed manner, in a controlled manner, in a responsible manner, in conjunction with the community that will ultimately protect it. For today, we're gonna to start a test fire up here by drop point 10, and we're gonna bring firing down this unit here. We're using fire in part to improve biodiversity and resilience at the landscape level and to create wildlife habitats for all the different wildlife species that depend on this landscape. Um, but we're also enhancing the extents of these important habitats because they influence fire behavior. It's heartening to see the forest and the condition that's being kept now and knowing that future re-entries of fire are only going to make it even stronger. Prescribed fire at scale is going to take public and private partnerships to make it work. This involves communities. The community in McLeod needs to be comfortable with what's happening here. There needs to be a social license to be able to execute it effectively on the ground and that takes community buy-in. In terms of liability, the state of California has a prescribed fire liability fund that has 92 projects currently enrolled. That is a way to help ensure your prescribed fire to make sure that you manage your liability, but the best way to manage liability is to stay within your prescriptive window. And that prescriptive window includes temperature, relative humidity, wind speed, and direction. And when those conditions don't align to prescription, you've got to shut the fire down. But when they do align, you can achieve great results over great distances. The California Prescribed Fire Burn Boss certification, known as CAR-X, is part of CAL FIRE and was created to increase the amount of prescribed fire being implemented on private property. A burn boss is experienced and knowledgeable in wildland fire, having an in-depth understanding of fuels, weather, and topography, and how each of these dynamic variables interact with each other to influence fire behavior. Also, a burn boss manages the big picture of a prescribed fire and assumes responsibility and liability for the burn while providing for firefighter and public safety. The burn boss will plan, organize, implement, and document the prescribed fire from start to finish, mopping up until there is no heat, no smoke detected for three consecutive days. Following a burn plan, a burn boss will utilize the incident command system to organize people and equipment for span of control and accountability in support of a strategic ignition sequence that achieves burn plan objectives while maintaining prescribed fire controllability. We really appreciate the communication that we got from Terra Fuego PFT regarding this project. We really appreciate the preparation work that went into it prior to the burn, uh, getting the site prepped, make sure adequate containment lines were in place. We appreciate the expertise that they exercised uh, and used when conducting the burn. And it was followed up by frequent communication during the burn. So we were in the loop. We knew what was happening. We had an opportunity to come out and visit the site during the burn to ensure that our adjacent lands were not gonna be negatively impacted. <music>